new tonight. When was the last time you looked closely at the cost of a parking ticket or traffic ticket? Depending on the violation, the fees and the surcharges could wipe you out. That's why it has to be looked into. It's just not fair. It's not a fair system. It all goes back to an issue of unpaid fines that KCRA 3 Investigates has been following for months. Tonight, KCRA 3 Investigates' Brian Heap takes a look at the changes in the works. As KCRA 3 Investigates first reported back in February, California has more than $10 billion in outstanding court ordered debt, and most of that money is from traffic fines and fees. Critics, including some judges, blame a backwards system that imposes fees on top of fees to the point where most people can't realistically pay. Now, some members of the legislature are looking for ways to make it less punitive and make it easier to pay. A trip to City Hall to pay a parking fine can be a costly inconvenience. Convenience. It's way expensive for just parking. Tom Garcia showed up Monday to contest his $42.50 parking ticket in part because he thinks the cost is unreasonable. And if he doesn't pay on time, the ticket more than doubles to $87.50. The average person may have a very hard time. I, I, and I'm retired, so I'm on a fixed income. The city of Sacramento does allow people who owe more than 100 bucks to pay an additional $30 to apply for a payment plan. But not all local governments offer such plans up front. Costs can get so high many drivers either can't or won't pay the fine, and that's lost revenue for cities that rely on the money to pay for services. The California court system funds many of its programs the same way. As we've reported, the $35 fine for running a stop sign actually costs you $238 after the state tax on 10 different surcharges and fees. That's a big difference, and part of the reason Assemblymember Miguel Santiago of Los Angeles is pushing AB 1151, which would make it easier for people to pay parking fines with installment plans. I think this will enable folks to be able to pay their tickets. Um, it'll be, it'll prevent the courts uh, from being clogged up, um, and it'll get um, monies back into the city coffers. Santiago says fees on top of late fees have created too much burden on the working poor, forcing some people to choose between paying tickets and buying food. In his home district of Los Angeles, the average parking ticket costs 68 bucks. But if you don't pay within 21 days, you get charged late fees that double the cost. And if you want a hearing to challenge the ticket, you have to pay a $25 filing fee. Santiago says there needs to be a better way. The first one is to stop the bleeding. And the ability to do payment plans will prevent uh, the, uh, the uncollected amount from growing. Um, I think in the future we'll, we'll be able to take a look at how we can begin to collect it. And I think that, again, payment plans are going to be the way to be able to do it. Another way unpaid traffic fines can hurt the poor is when they result in a suspended license. It happens to millions of Californians. Senate Bill 405 wants to restore driving privileges for those who take part in ticket amnesty programs. The argument being, if you can't get to work every day, how can you possibly pay the fine and get your license back? That's why it has to be looked into. It's just not fair. It's not a fair system. Such changes could be a step toward fixing the problem of unpaid court fees, but most critics believe the the best solution is a funding system that doesn't rely on fee increases for additional revenue. Brian Heap, KCRA 3 News. So remember, if you have something you'd like Brian Heap or Kevin Oliver to investigate, you can email them at KCRA Investigates at KCRA.com.